Well, joining us now is M. Sheldon Thomas. He's a former gang member who now runs a consultancy firm that trains professionals to understand gang mentality. M. Sheldon, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And what we were hearing there, one officer describing, describing the situation as people habitually carrying knives. One officer from the, the elite gang unit saying that actually stop and search does work. From your experience now and indeed previously as, as a gang member, do you think stop and search will work? Is this the way of tackling knife crime? I think, um, that, I think there's a history of stop and search which has a negative impact on particular communities, especially in the black community. And I don't think there is any evidence to prove that stop and search actually reduces knife crime. In my days, it actually had a reverse effect and actually caused many of us to resent the police in the way they input, um, kind of delivered that you know, stop and search process. Um, for me, um, the biggest problem is that we're tackling this on an enforcement and you can't lock your way and enforce your way out of this situation. It's a culture. And once we understand it's a culture and they operate, these young people who live this lifestyle, and remember, many of these young people who carry knives are not even in gangs. What they're doing is they're carrying a knife because of the fear of the gangs, because they live in neighborhoods where most of them don't have any father figures. There's no positive male role models in their life. They live in estates where mass unemployment is. They live where mums are struggling maybe with two or three other younger kids. So it's kind of easy just to let the older one go out. We saw in the report there, um, you know, sport quite often does provide outlets and, and help for, for people and the boxing in that report. But is enough being done and what more can be done, do you think, to try and include those, let's be honest, mainly young men who feel that they don't have a stake in the society that they live in and well, therefore the, the violence doesn't have a consequence because there's nothing to lose? Well, f to answer that question, society has to look at itself because if we're not going to tackle this on a social front because this is where the problem is it's a social and a mental issue you can't tackle social problems with enforcement so i think where you're talking about how does young people who feel left out in society um, feel a part of society society the government has to look at what are they doing to make every young person inclusive in society because at the moment there is a disparity amongst especially young kids unemployed um, apprenticeships don't really offer a real solution because the pay is so ridiculously low so when you look at a gang member he becomes attractive to a young person because if you look at apprenticeships and what they're offering there's no guarantee of a job in fact most apprenticeships don't offer a job at the end of it the young person is thinking well I might as well go down this road and this is it. it's the gang members they're making their their showing they're enticing them with living a good life it's the only way potentially they can make money in the environment that they're growing up in so is it about tackling those gang members which essentially the stop and search could do that it could take could um, imprison um, gang members and take them out of these estates, out of, out of these areas in London? Yes, you can. Yes, the police can do that. There's a place for a role for the police, but this is a bigger picture than the police. This is actually a social problem because we're not addressing it from that world. Remember, they're in a different world to us. In their world, they get up when they want, they do what they want, they tackle their issues how they feel to. In our world, we have a, a process, a way of doing things. So we need to understand the world they're in is separate to our world and if we're going to tackle we have to understand their world and because we don't understand their world it's where people like us come in to try and train professionals to understand the world by which these young people live because if you're not included in society you're going to go to where you feel included or a sense of belonging and unfortunately the attraction of gangs through the music they um, some of them promote becomes a way of life and unfortunately carrying a knife isn't just about the fear factor it's now a culture okay um sadly it doesn't look like from what you're saying stop and search will be enough to tackle this issue and um, hopefully we'll find out in time and sheldon thomas really good talking to you thank you